Hello guys, welcome to the first official episode of Low Tide Overland. We're here on a little piece of paradise, Spring Island, South Carolina, uh, just north of Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, for those of you who know the state at all. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video, uh, take y'all around the truck, and show you what I'm doing with this F-150. Not many people do F-150 builds, so I'm sure y'all are curious as to how I made it the way it was, and total work of progress. This is a 2016 F-150 Lariat with the 3.5 EcoBoost. I have done some moderate modifications to the engine here to uh, get a little bit more horsepower. Uh, take a look. So there's not much to look at. So in no particular order, uh, some of the modifications that have been done uh, since January, I added the cold air intake from the AFE, the Mishimoto hot side charge pipes, uh, AFE cold side charge pipe. I changed out the intercooler for the AFE Blade Runner, added a 170 degree thermostat, and also added this UPR catch can. Try and keep the intake side of the motor a little bit more clean. Um, there are also some Acel coils and NGK plugs to get a little bit uh, of a better burn, just a little bit more power in there. Notice some of the wiring running around. Uh, I have added three different sets of lights, 360 degree lighting all the way around the truck, as well as a toolbox, which I will go into later. Now for suspension, this is a one inch lift level, uh, Icon stage four. Uh, upper control arms with the coilover struts that I've had adjusted to level, so two and a half inches of total lift. Um, I have also added, I don't know if you can get a shot of that, uh, quick disconnect sway bar links for a little bit more flex. For lighting on this truck, I have Cougar motor, high and low beams, and JDM Astar. All the other bulbs in the truck have been changed out, have a little bit better vision at night, paired with the Nylite floodlight on the front. And if we come around this side, you'll notice the Smittybilt M1 rock slides, which I have paired with the RCI skid plates for full protection of the undercarriage. You'll notice the side lights here from Nylite. I have Obviously, high lift mount and the overland rack, which has been the bane of my existence for the past two months. This is something that I looked for for a long time, wasn't able to find anything. So this is kind of what she and I have come up with and are out here testing today. So this is the overland rack that we've been working on for about the past two months, trying to perfect and get everything nice and neat and organized. Um, as you can tell, we have our max tracks here for nice quick access, chainsaw for trail clearing, as well as two 54 quart coolers, which have their own little bracket. And the neat part about it is that when you take it out of your truck, obviously storage is an issue if you live in a townhome. So, take the cooler out, and these fold up on both sides as well as these uprights are removable so you get a nice compact package that you can take in and out of your truck very nice and easy moving on you'll notice the jerry can down here i keep 10 gallons of water and 10 gallons of spare fuel you may be asking yourself well how do you get it out of there well, i'll show you all slides out of the way, giving me full access to the jerry cans. We can get our water, get our fuel, hopefully we won't need it, but we have it. When you're done, everything slides 
other little projects that I've had and I've been doing this since I've had the truck was this right here and this is what every truck needs I absolutely love it I use it all the time it is my my version of a swing case toolbox pull the lever down here got a gas strut to push it out and hold it in place you will see that pretty much any tool that you want or could need on the trail you have here. Impact driver, drill, three batteries, in the back there is an angle grinder hidden away, as well as a full set of mechanics tools. Really, anything you could need to fix on the trail, you have right here. Also comes complete with a set of lights, which activate the cargo lights so you can see when you're working, as well as an inverter. Make sure that these batteries stay charged. When you're done, put it right there. Also, if you need a little bit of extra room, these lift off hinges here, you can pick it up, set it to the side, put it back in when you're ready to do some work. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We're leaving in 48 hours for another trip on the Georgia Traverse. We'll be sure to do a better job of documenting this time and hope to see you next time.